Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dusty O'Hara and I hope that you enjoyed this Sims 4 video where I talk about a renovation that I did. Now, this is the Bethington Boathouse in Brindleton Bay and I absolutely love this lot. It's probably my favorite lot um, in the game. Honestly, I've redone this house so many times and I constantly want it to work. So I've made multiple different floor plans. I've bulldozed it and rebuilt it from the bottom up multiple times. And I just thoroughly enjoy doing this one over and over and over again. Uh, this one I do believe is actually keeping the shell and a true renovation where all I did was size down the walls a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. And I have fiddled with the floor plan so many times in this one. At one point I had a bedroom here, the bathroom here in like a weird uh little way and a bedroom here and a bedroom here but that was when the parents of astrid um were alive i started this as a little bit of a rags to riches but i didn't zero out my money you know i bought this lot and i had two senior parents and um uh teenage daughters and if we go over here somewhere, I'm not a Sims professional. <clears throat> we can see the genealogy here. Um, we can see that I started with Bard and with Beetle, and I just thought that was funny. And we started with them as seniors. This was the oldest child, Arbor. Um, Arbor is not the heir because I play with the oldest daughter. It's the heir. Um, to the family, basically. And so here we have Astrid and her younger sister, Ale Aleandra. And Aleandra is an A student. Um, she is going to be aged up soon. She will be moved out. Um, <coughs> Astrid married Ellie. Um, I downloaded Ali and Bryce and gave them another sister. Ellie, I... <coughs> just kind of stole these two off the gallery and made them green because I like to play with green and blue sims and I'm probably going to be downloading some you know odd skin colors later it's just how I like to play and so far Ellie um, and Astrid have had their son Olive um, and Olive is going to be getting a sibling I believe Astrid is Yes, Astrid is in her third trimester. So um, let's see where we are with that. I haven't cheated this one yet. We gotta wake him up. And now we can click on them and see who they have. And they have one female baby. If we want to leave it at that number of children, that's fine. I probably won't. I'll probably um, fill up the house with the kids. That's how I tend to like to play my legacy games. I like to overload the save until it stops working. <coughs> anyway, I'm just blathering. I really am just prattling along. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is obviously the main entrance here and I've got the chess table and a little bench. Um, I kind of like this hallway to the stairwell. Um, it just feels cozy. I didn't really know what to do with the space here. I feel like it's not a very smart use of the space, but we have your basic bathroom. Um, this is the largest bedroom in the house. This is the um, newborn infant toddler bedroom. This is just a little bit of a workout space, workout space. Um, here we have the living room and the Harvest Fest gnomes that I haven't dealt with yet. And my favorite part of this particular build is this kitchen. I just really like the way that it came out. I like that I was able to use this funky furniture, that chair, and this couch in this build pretty nicely. Um, you know, this bathroom up here matches the one downstairs. We have the woodworking table for skill building. Um, we have the easel earned in the art career you'll see um you know decorations from the careers here because we've been trying to not spend too much money on um, upgrading and renovating the house and here we have the teenager's bedroom now um aleandra and the brother 
um, arbor. They didn't really get any permanent rooms. They were very, very basic. I think their rooms were like the bare minimum to get this bed to work. And that's why I didn't like it. It just felt cramped. Um, this layout has been working for me. I'm still not super happy with it because I do have another build that turned out way, way better. So let's see if I can find that one and show you. Okay, so if you are not familiar, the Bedlington Boathouse um, here in Brindleton Bay is, um, it's got really good bones. I really do love how much personality it has. So this is the base one. I'm pretty positive that I haven't touched this particular Saves Brindleton Boathouse. Um, Bedlington, sorry, Bedlington Boathouse in Brindleton Bay. Let's find out what neighborhood we're into. This neighborhood is Cavalier Cove. So over here in Cavalier Cove, um, we have this lot and eventually I am going to move into this um, 64 by 64 when the legacy challenge gets there because I like to have large plots with large families and I um, found this lot um, I found this build for this lot on the gallery and I love 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 it I'm going to be saving tombstones to put tombstones in this little garden here and you know, don't mind me, I'm really not good at the Sims 3 camera. I know that is, you know, the the best camera. But I did not make this lot, this Green Gardens lot. Um, I found it on the gallery. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend you use it. I've play tested it. I love this lot. I pretty much never change anything about it when I do play in this one. So, um, so that's what we're working with is I want to build up my legacy and I want to move from here to here and I always like to move out my sims into nearby lots so that the family can stay together and be in the same neighborhood just something that doesn't really happen in my neck of the woods New Jersey so let's see if I can find um, the, the actual house that I'm looking for because it's not in this safe I found it so here we go this is it's not my favorite. I'm pretty sure the save that had the one where it was the kitchen and the bathroom and the living room and the dining room, like all kind of how the original house they had it laid out. And then I had a couple, and then I had it split into two bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. I can't find it. So we're going to go with this enlarged version here. The enlarged version, um, I added a fireplace and I am. Um, always so specific my fireplace has to line up with the chimney and the exhaust so that's why i did here um so here we have a much larger porch that i haven't really utilized fully um and in we go uh to the dining room it looks like whatever sims lived here had food on the table at one point and here we have a home office we have the downstairs bathroom behind the stairs, which I do think is a smart place to put it um, in the original. I really, I don't know how much I've moved this staircase. Um, we have a nice large living room with a play space for the kid, a big bed. We have a gigantic kitchen. So in this kitchen, you'll see it has two fridges um, of distinct styles. So you can tell which one is for dairy and which one is for um, meat. And we also have the two stoves, two sinks, and there's one dishwasher, and the other dishwasher is on the other side of the island. Um, but up here, you'll notice I went very, very green with this one. Um, this one I did a long, long time ago. I had very limited packs at the time, um, but I think it came out kind of nice. I like what I did with the hallway here. I like that there's a spot for the cat. I like the largest bedroom. Uh, the kids' bedrooms here, and the bathroom here, uh, laser litter box <laughs> required, and um, actually, there it is, the trash can, always required in my builds, um, floating plate, not required. <laughs> I 
really wasn't loving this one. It wasn't coming out in my vision. It was very, very difficult. If you have stayed with me this far, I wanted to thank you so much for joining me for this video. This is my first voiceover video. Um, it is probably only the fourth or fifth one that I have made. I've been having a lot of fun. I hope that you liked my video. And if you did, I hope that you share it and maybe come back for the next one. I have many builds to show. I have game modes that I would like to record and share, and I would like to become a active part of the Simmer community. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been Dusty O'Hara, and I invite you to come back to my channel whenever you'd like.